Hello and welcome to the Grand Touring Motorsports Podcast, Break, Fix, where we're always fixing to break into something motorsports related. We always have a blast chatting with our guests about all sorts of different topics, but sometimes we go off the rails and dig deep into their automotive and motorsports past. So as a bonus to the main event, let's go behind the scenes with this Pit Stop mini Sit back, enjoy, and remember to like, subscribe, and support us on Patreon. You want to hear one last one, a completely off-the-wall British car story? Go for it. Yeah? You got time? Sure. Brad, you're... Right. This is absolutely true. Pieces of which I I really do have to cut out because I can't tell you. So I, I do a lot of work with unmanned aircraft systems, especially along edges of the country, yeah? Well, in this particular case, I happened to be in one of our southwestern states and I was inside a ground control station. And we're watching the video from one of these unmanned aircraft and it's flying up and down the edge of the country. And as we're watching it, there are all sorts of things going on. Um, There are various people moving mostly south to north. And then at, towards the end of the day, and I'm watching this because my job was sense and avoid of unmanned airplanes in the national airspace, which gets very complicated. So I talked to the ground control station operator. I said, hey, you know, can we see a little bit of this part of the world that we're in, in Southern California? And he said, sure. So he brings the aircraft around. Now, this aircraft is probably 150 miles from where I'm sitting in the ground control station. And the aircraft banks around, it's quite a big aircraft and it flies reasonably high. And the aircraft has got this payload ball on top, on underneath it. And he said, do you want to have to go, Mr. Wade? I said, sure. So I sit in the payload operator seat and I'm playing with the ball. And being an Apache guy, I'm quite used to, you know, odd looking sensors on top of airplanes. And we start panning around. And I look at a road that runs down the desert through a part of the country called the Antelope Valley near Lancaster, California. And going down, and it's without a word of a lie, going down this road right along the southern border, or very close to it, near the San Gabriel Mountains, is a row of four vehicles, all of which have two tubes to three tubes sitting at this angle on the back of the vehicle. These are not things you see commonly in the civilian world. And I'm, by this time, I've got these eyes looking at the screen. And one of the guys says, Mr. Wade, do you recognize us? And I went, I might, since I chased crap like that up and down the Iraqi border for a little while. I said, can you get me a better picture? He says, stand up. So I got out of the way, the real payload operator gets in and he brings the airplane over the top of the road. It turns out that we were looking at this road from about 25 miles away. And you could see these things going down the road, a row of them with these tubes on the back. So he banks the airplane around, he brings it much closer. It's taking a little while, they're not very fast. And I'm watching and I'm watching. I said, can you bring it a bit lower? And he says, yeah, he brings it down. I won't tell you what he brought it down to, but it, it was not that high by this time. Still out of visual range of the ground. And I'm looking at it, and I said, what's going on here this weekend? And they all sort of oomed and ahed, because I recognized what the hell these things were. And as he zoomed in, and we can go to color, I'm like, check that out. And the entire ground control station erupted in laughter. What was going on that weekend was a race at Sonoma. And what those cars were, were mini pickup trucks with red giant Red Bull cans on the back. Oh, oh, <laughs> and, like oh. and they were minis with Red Bull cans on the back. That's oh, absolutely awesome. hilarious. We were about ready to blow those little bastards off the road, let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> and I can't really embellish much of that one because I can't tell you how it all happened, but it was absolutely fascinating. And then when, we, when you zoom in on these things and it says Red Bull, you're probably high. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> nice. There's your ultimate mini story. There you go.
If you like what you've heard and want to learn more about GTM, be sure to check us out on www.gtmotorsports.org. You can also find us on Instagram at Grand Touring Motorsports. Also, if you want to get involved or have suggestions for future shows, you can call or text us at 202-630-1770 or send us an email at crewchief at gtmotorsports.org. We'd love to hear from you. Hey, everybody. Crew Chief Eric here. We really hope you enjoyed this episode of Break Fix, and we wanted to remind you that GTM remains a no annual fees organization, and our goal is to continue to bring you quality episodes like this one at no charge. As a loyal listener, please consider subscribing to our Patreon for bonus and behind-the-scenes content, extra goodies, and GTM swag. For as little as $2.50 a month, you can keep our developers, writers, editors, casters, and other volunteers fed on their strict diet of Fig Newtons, gummy bears, and Monster. Consider signing up for Patreon today at www.patreon.com forward slash GT Motorsports. And remember, without fans, supporters, and members like you, none of this would be possible.